Let's write an argument essay, and it's about language learning. Here is the question. Despite the costs, it is more effective to learn a language in a country where it is the mother tongue. To what extent do you agree or disagree? You must answer the question. Do you agree or disagree? And to what extent or by how far? Also notice the essay topic mentions the costs. So you need to talk about this in your essay. The simplest way to write a task two introduction is the first sentence, write about the general background and factual information. Sentence two, paraphrase the essay question and make the topic clear. And sentence three, state your position, give your opinion. We call this the thesis statement. Many people around the world enjoy learning a second language. The sentence in blue is the background or just factual information. A lot of these language learners prefer to go to the native speaker country to immerse themselves in the language, even though it is a large investment in time and money. This is the second sentence and it repeats the essay topic. It introduces the essay question. Third sentence, I completely agree that it is better to learn a foreign language in a country where it is used all the time because the student can improve their speaking and they are constantly surrounded by that language so they learn more naturally. Now, you could put a full stop here and get a lower score. But this student has chosen to include the main ideas from the main body to try to get a higher score for coherence. It's so clear, the student agrees. To what extent? He completely agrees and he's given two reasons. Let's keep going. The first reason is to improve speaking. Because this is the topic sentence, the student has repeated the essay topic. What's the essay topic? To learn a language in the foreign country. While some students can effectively learn grammar and vocabulary in their home country, these people often miss out on speaking practice with native speakers. As a result, their pronunciation could be poor, leading to much misunderstanding in a conversation. They also do not get the chance to daily practice communication skills, such as ordering a meal, negotiating with a serviceman, or just talking to a bus driver. Remember, this paragraph is only about speaking. So look at all the repeated keywords, speaking practice, native speakers, pronunciation, conversation, communication skills. Stick to the topic of speaking. Do you remember the second reason? Aside from speaking improvement, language learners also benefit from being constantly surrounded by their new language. Therefore, they improve their idiomatic and slang language. Very little can be achieved on a daily basis if they don't read and watch TV or listen to the radio in the foreign language. For example, the last time I was in France, I was forced to arrange a whole travel itinerary in French. This was a quick lesson in negotiating meaning that I would not have had had I only learnt French in Australia. So this is about being surrounded by the new language. And I gave an example from my personal experience. What examples can you think of living in Ireland or England or America?
or even Australia and New Zealand? Do you listen to the radio, watch TV, talk to an Australian person at the post office? These would all be good examples of being surrounded by the new language. Here is the conclusion. In conclusion, even though it is possible to learn a foreign language in your home country, it is not only my belief, but also my experience that students should consider spending the money to go abroad and put themselves in that language environment. Do you remember the essay question? It mentioned the costs. So that's why this student has mentioned spending the money because the question mentioned costs. So a good conclusion restates the thesis statement and also gives a recommendation, warning or prediction. Why is this essay so good? It had a clear thesis from beginning to end, remember? This IELTS student thinks it's better to learn a language in the country where it is the mother tongue and gave two clear reasons for that. So everything was relevant and connected. Specific examples were given, talking to a bus driver, arranging a travel itinerary. Each body paragraph had a clear topic sentence. So, let's study some of these together. Here is the thesis statement from the introduction. Notice how they match the topic sentences in the main body. So the student was very clear. I completely agree because number one in red, the student can improve their speaking. Remember the first body paragraph was all about speaking. And they are constantly surrounded by that language. And the student repeats this in the second body paragraph. The other reason this essay was so good was all the linking techniques. Even though I completely agree that so, the first reason to do something is. Can you use this one? While, clause, comma, and then the main clause. As a result, also, such as, aside from, And there they all are. If you don't know how to use these, you limit your score. I thank you for watching and there are two more videos to go. So keep listening and do your best.